Now you're going to want a culture. What I love about Japan is they actually have the name of the culture. This is PA3. That's actually the name of the yogurt culture. And there's a lot of different ones. There's R2. This is the latest version. It's a highly uh, fat burning content yogurt. And ultimately it's a great for diet. It's another thing. If you eat this after every meal. Now this would get expensive because this is a dollar. So imagine a dollar added onto your, you know, your meal. One of these quarts here, and here I'll grab one of these quarts here. So this is Japanese milk. Now this is actually three dollars, three dollars, and this is a thousand milliliters. This is like a hundred, I think, in here. Yeah, a hundred. So basically, there's ten of these and one of these. Ten of these. So this would cost me ten dollars. This is I'm making what's cost me ten dollars for half the price for four dollars with this five dollars, right? So this is three, yeah, four dollars. So I'm saving six dollars simply by buying the best milk. This is this is really expensive milk. This milk here, which I like. Right, this milk here is actually only two forty-five, two dollars and forty-five cents a gallon. Actually, a little bit less right now because the exchange rate. And I should talk about milk. M milk basically dictates the flavor and the consistency of your yogurt. Now, notice this is four point four. That's cream in there. So this is a very creamy, very nice, very nice milk right here. Um, and. Ultimately, I don't know what the percentage is. It's probably going to say on the side here, 3.5. I think 3.5 is the cream. So this has consistently more cream than this one does too. We can compare, you know, they have a lot of data. I wish I could read the Japanese. There's a lot of data here talking about whatever I don't know but here's actually the details I'm looking for yeah so 4.4 is the cream this is 3.5 this is my favorite milk this one right here um, it's only it's two dollars and 45 cents it makes an amazing yogurt this also makes a really nice yogurt and I'm trying another milk today so it has details here you can see that this has been pasteurized as the pasteurization temperature for two minutes at 130 degrees Celsius. So this takes a lot longer. It's a, I think it's a, it's a, the, the milk is a, is a higher quality milk, but they sell it a little bit cheaper. And they usually don't have a big run on it in this milk. What I love about Japan is there's just so many different kinds of milk and the yogurt they sell here. So this is a liquid yogurt. Now what I'm gonna do with this here is actually bring it over here and we'll start warming it up a little. So you'll notice, maybe I can fit it in here. There you go. Yeah. So I'm going to warm this up a little bit. And you notice I have a lid here that fits on top of it. And I'm going to show you what I do next. But I'm pretty much, the process of making yogurt is pretty much done. What I'm going to do is, once this is warmed up a little bit, you know, once this goes down, once this timer goes down, right? So I've got the timer set here. All right. I got the timer set for 18 minutes. So I'm going to let that go run down. I'm going to set this on top of it. I don't know if this is actually going to go now with that in there. No, it's not going to go. Um, usually I do three yogurts at a time. I'm actually doing four now. I'm, I took out the little container so I can do four yogurts. We eat a lot of yogurt at the house. We eat more yogurt than we do milk. And I think this is a better way to drink milk is turning it into yogurt for your body. So...